Hey guys, Matt here. I have an excellent little utility for your PC. If you like to install lots of programs, keep them up to date and not have to click next, 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 and not install all the adware that goes along with them these days, then if you visit this site, it's free. It's called ninite.com. Uh, you can actually just kind of pick what you want to install. You can get the installer. It installs everything really fast, really silent, and no adware is installed. So let's uh, go ahead and try this out. I mean, uh, I have, I've just heard about it. I haven't actually used it. Uh, I think I used it maybe once during a test, but I couldn't finish the test. I was too busy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose Chrome. This is a brand new computer that I'm using. So uh, this ninite.com would be awesome for like a new computer where you're just, you know, building the computer for maybe like uh, your home or your work and you're building like an image. Very cool. Um, we can st we'll just grab CD Burner XP, Revo on installer. We'll just go through a few of these really quick. iTunes. Yeah, sure. We'll grab Quick QuickTime, Java. Uh, Silverlight, Shockwave, uh, WinRAR, Paint.net, awesome application. Screenshot for doing my screenshots. We'll get Reader, Open Office, uh, Cute PDF Writer, use that a lot. I'll go with Avast. And let's see, anything over here? Not really. Um,. Sure, I'll do Dropbox, FileZilla for my FTP stuff, and Notepad++. So let's get the installer. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and run it. It's very small. It's probably just a little script. Go ahead and say yes. And we'll go ahead and show details, and you can see right away it's downloading Chrome. I didn't have to, you know, go to the Chrome website and, you know, click a bunch of stuff and download it. This Ninite is actually doing it for me. So, uh, we'll go ahead and let it run through its stuff, and uh, I'm going to pause it. I'll be right back. And uh, here's the status right here so far. Um, you can see it's got a bunch of uh, status OKs. List every application, and then um, it's uh, still installing stuff. But yeah, it's really smooth. I love this thing. Um, I'm gonna test the uh, the professional version, um, probably at work, and see how that runs. It's it's pretty awesome so far. Okay, well, all that stuff has been installed. It didn't take that long at all with my connection. Um, so everything's been installed except uh, paint.net. It says .net version required. So I would have to resolve that manually, but that's so it's a small little thing. So I'll go ahead and say close. And let's see what we can see down here. So really nothing down here. Do have all the icons on the desktop. And let's go ahead and try to launch one of them, make sure it works. So this is the Revo uninstaller. So yeah, Revo works and you can see it's just picked up everything that's been installed here. So if I want to uninstall it, I can. Um, Avast is not turned on right now. Um, I believe if I restart, it'll probably start. So we can try that here in a second. One thing I'm really curious about is when you install a lot of these programs, especially things like CD Burner XP, um, uh, that's the only one I see right now. Well, well unfortunately, we'll just say CD Burner XP. That installs a lot of adware um, by itself whenever you try to install it. I think it's like two or three different adware installs. So I want to run um, ADW Cleaner and see if any adware actually got installed on here. Uh, don't enable. I 
let's see. Uh, let's go to Google. <clears throat> so ADW Cleaner. And whenever you're downloading ADW Cleaner, I always recommend going to bleepingcomputer.com. Uh, a couple of people have asked me where they can get this, and this is like the official place I go to. So yeah, the PC is pretty slow right now. <laughs> pretty brutal. I am using a virtual machine. Yes, it's a computer inside a computer. A lot of people ask me that question. Uh, it's just a VMware workstation. Let's try that again. Might be down here. <laughs> Guess I'm just not seeing it. Or it's, uh, gosh, it's so slow. Hang on. I did just install, like, I don't know, over a dozen apps. Maybe they're trying to do something. Yeah, so let's see. Well, something's trying to start. Windows host process, run DLL. Well, okay. We'll go ahead and say run ADW cleaner. Yep, run. Let's go ahead and close that. I, I don't think I give this virtual machine enough RAM. I think I forgot to do that, so that's probably the deal. So we'll go ahead and say scan. And we'll let ADW Cleaner scan and see what it said. Okay, let me make sure this thing's going. Alright, perfect. Um, so, we did an ADW uh, Cleaner scan, and as you can see, there is nothing. So, no adware, our junkware gets installed. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the final thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, do a reboot and uh, make sure this Avast actually turns on. Um, and that's about it. So let me try that. Hang on a second. So yes, uh, as soon as I rebooted it, I get a bunch of options that come up. Um, one for Green Shot, and then I got the Welcome to Avast girl just talking. A little audio clip there. So you can see Avast is down here in the corner. And uh, I could go ahead and register that now and all that good stuff. So I have not taken a look at the Ninite um, update ability, so I can't really speak to that. Um, I'm sure somebody um, who thank you who watches my channel um, probably knows how that update process is. I'll probably find out in a few days, but I just haven't um, had to update anything yet, so I have no idea. Anyway. Uh, just to summarize this whole thing, if you're building a new PC, then Ninite is awesome. Um, and if you already have a PC, then it's pretty awesome too, because there's just a lot of apps that they support. And um, if installing an app is this easy, then I'm sure their updates are just as easy. Awesome little application. Um, and then I'm going to be testing out the Pro version at work, and I might be able to show a demo of that or something. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys.